Alright guys, so welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and I know what you guys are thinking, you just pulled your Kli, she's looking amazing, you're running around, she's looking kawaii as ever and then you stop and you start to think, well wait a second, how am I actually going to build my Kli? Like what exactly should I be putting on to her as far as artifacts are concerned? How should I be building her properly so that way she's doing the most damage and she's being as OP as everybody's been saying she is? Well. I'm glad you asked that question and hopefully this video today can help you out a little bit as far as a good build for Klee. Now what I want to quickly mention is that I believe Klee is going to be a very heavily DPS oriented character and she's going to be able to do massive amount of damage but what I believe you should be prioritizing when it comes to a good build for Klee as far as artifacts are concerned is taking a look at the crit rate now the reason why I stay crit rate is because if you do not know which I'm sure you're probably already aware of is that on her talent for sparkling burst uh, once you reach ascension phase 4 which I have not just yet we'll get into that in just a second um, when a charge attack results in a crit all party members gain two elemental energy this is extremely important as this gives Klee just a little bit of supporting capabilities to where she's allowed to give your other allies on your team that elemental energy so then you can start having an ult fiesta going on in your party and you're gonna be just popping ults left and right and it's gonna be an amazing time and you're gonna have tons of fun so I believe you need to prioritize crit rate um, above all else when you're building your Klee uh, crit rate and attack are th I think are the two um, most important things that you want to focus on when it comes to your roles for your artifacts which I'll show you mine in just a second here also there's a maintenance that's about to happen in game so keep that in mind as well <laughs> that's where we're getting that message scrolling across um, and then afterwards you can focus on you know crit damage elemental mastery energy recharge things of that nature as a secondary role but like I mentioned crit rate crit damage I think are gonna be the two most important things you want to focus on um, when we take a look at my Klee unfortunately I don't have the necessary resources to get her fully maxed out as I want to uh, just because I'm running out of the resources trying to build Klee as well as if you weren't at the stream I pulled Kaching as well so I immediately was trying to build her up also so trying to build these two characters at the same time is just not a feasible option for me to be able to do to fully max them both out <laughs> as far as resources are concerned by the way if you were at the stream I appreciate it, it was absolutely amazing um, and then I have this weapon right here on her that I cannot max out because of resources so I need to get on the grind to get that all taken care of but with that being said and out of the way um, taking a look at the artifacts that I have on her you're gonna see a reoccurring theme as far as the type of roles that I was going for when it comes to the artifacts and keep in mind I don't have all my artifacts maxed out so that's another thing <laughs> to also keep in mind resources um, so if we take a look at my uh, flower that I have on her the instructors uh, brooch I have of course the HP for the main role but then attack attack crit damage crit rate so you're gonna see that as a priority something that I focus on that crit rate and attack um, and then we have the elemental mastery with the two-piece set moving over to the flower I have the berserkers indigo feather uh, flower feather I meant to say with the attack as the main role attack crit damage um, and then with the two-piece set crit rate at 12% and then the four-piece I can go with the four-piece um, but we'll get into that in just a second that little bit of a stipulation right there kind of walls you out which I'm not a huge fan of but I may if I get a good roll on I believe it's my goblet for the four-piece set then that's something that I might switch but for now that's what I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at because with the two-piece I'm still getting that little crit rate up then moving over to my timepiece, I have the Berserker timepiece with the attack where it's at, and then energy recharge, crit rate, and then elemental mastery. Um, once again, not fully maxed out to level 12, so once I get there, um, that'll be better also. Uh, and then when I say fully maxed out, I mean to level 12 like the rest of them. Of course, I know 16 is the maxed out one <laughs> for the four stars. Um, and then moving on to my uh, teacup, I have the instructor's teacup or goblet. Um, I have attack, crit rate, attack, and then crit damage right there. So once again, you're seeing that reoccurring theme of the focus that I was going for. And then the Berserker Battle Mass, crit damage, energy recharge, attack, elemental mastery, and crit rate. Just absolutely phenomenal mask right there. So you can see that that has been my main focus is that crit rate. 
um, and then if we take a look at the details for my CLI, I have a 43.8% crit rate, which obviously once I start getting things maxed out, that's going to go up even higher. And then crit damage at 119% uh, percent, with my energy recharge being at 108%. So I almost have 50% crit rate, which will that will be at some point. And then so she'll be critting about 50% of the time. And then when she does crit, the crit damage is going to be off the charts. So that has been my main focus. So that way I can take full advantage of that talent sparkling burst. So she can not only be a main DPS for me, but have just a little hint of supporting capabilities for the rest of the team. But like I mentioned, Klee is going to be your main DPS or a main DPS type of character for you. That's going to be her job first and foremost. And then adding just that little, little bit of supporting capabilities, just nice, nice to have, right? So that way um, for your team members, uh, we can get ultimates faster and just start popping those off, right? Um, so that is my advice when it comes to the artifacts, um, what you should be going for or prioritizing is attack and crit rate, um, and then going for, you know, crit damage, I would say next, and then, you know, elemental mastery or energy recharge, um, whichever you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and do this ley line really quickly. I didn't do a boss because my Klee is not up to snuff just yet, as you can see, as far as what I have weapon wise and just material wise. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this here uh, just so you can get an idea of like what we're looking at damage um, in a sense. Uh, once I have my Klee online the way I want her to be, uh, then we'll focus on um, bosses and stuff and maybe come back with a proper showcase for us. So, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Drop that down. Obviously, this guy's immune right now, so I'm going to have to switch it up. Uh, let me go ahead and just take out Razor really quickly. Do some damage here. We're probably going to get some more enemies after this. But, yeah, Klee is absolutely amazing. If you have the proper build on her, um, she's going to be doing a lot of damage. And then, like I mentioned, have that just little bit of supporting capability for you. Um, but AoE massive damage, helping out the team a ton with the AoE damage. Um, and then being able to proc a lot of elemental combinations is going to be really good. If you have another really good pyro character like a Deluke on your team and you have Deluke and Klee, you guys are going to be doing massive, massive amount of damage uh, between the two. Um, but you can also go with a combination like I have here with Venti, Chi Chi, um, Razor, and then Klee. Just have a good mixture going on, right? It's going to be very, very beneficial. Um, so it's going to be really, really good for you. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is how I believe you should be properly building Klee as far as um, her artifacts are concerned. When it comes to the weapon, you just pick a weapon that has, you know, a good crit rate um, and good attack on it. So, for example, like I mentioned, I have the um, Solar Pearl Catalyst, which I got from the Battle Pass. is one of the four weapons you can choose. It has the base attack and crit rate, but it also is good for the normal and charge attacks as well as the elemental burst damage and then normal attack damage. It's just some good stuff going there. But um, when you take a look at the weapons, I don't have all of them, but you can use um, really just about any catalyst will really help you. Uh, this one crit hit has uh, crit hits have a 60% chance for a small amount of elemental particles. A decent one. You can take a look at what you have and go with anything that's going to allow you just to do more damage in a sense. <laughs> so just really take a look at your stuff. Um, and see what's going to allow you to do that. But with the artifacts, like I mentioned, I think crit rate attack is going to be your best bet. But uh, let me know in the comments down below if you do have Klee, um, how you are building her out. Uh, let me know if Klee is working out for you or just let me know if you skipped all together. But uh, once again, I hope this video was a bit informative. Um, I hope it helped you out to give you just a better idea of which way you want to build your Klee. Um, or how you should be building her. You know, some of these things I believe can be pretty straightforward, but at the same time, if you're a newer player, you pull this character, you're not exactly sure how you want to build her, I think that is going to be the best way. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for all your support. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out. Bye, guys.